Hi, this is Andy with Small Step here to provide you with a Small Step SSH professional demo. I'm going to show you both sides of the coin today. So you're going to see the server side as well as the client side. But I've got a couple features we'll highlight here first. What you're not going to have to do with Small Step SSH Professional is gather, ship, and rotate public keys for all your users and hosts. Instead, we're going to implement certificates for your managed host through Small Step. And we make that process easier with the Small Step dashboard for enrolling, auditing, and access control. From there, you can hook to your identity provider via Skim so that all your users and groups are already set up. We have Bastion support, principles you can add to user certificates, POSIX groups for peripherals and resources, and a web-based API. But let's talk about tags before we register our first host. Okay, simply put, tags are a way to identify the server host and the user groups that have access to that host. On the left side of this diagram, you can see one server, and you have a DB dev tag that was used to set up this host when it was registered. And then on the bottom left, you have my Okta user groups that were synced to small step via skim. I only need to add a matching tag in order for those users to be able to access that host. So let's enroll one and we'll get all of that hooked up right now. In my dashboard under host in the SSH menu, I'll need to generate an enrollment token, which is a one-time token that's not stored in small step. So you want to keep that safe and secure. The user groups are already synced from my Okta account. That's where I'm setting up those tags. I already have one here, it's environment dev, and I'll keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna go back to host, get on my VM, run the installation, and put in my token. So we'll do that now. A few things happening here. We use PAM modules for access control. We install a new NSS module, but largely there's limited touch on the host side. Some pam.dconfig mods, we've got SSH dconfig mods, and a name service switch and NSS module that we add for syncing over an ACL file that sits in the Etsy directory. And that has all the metadata about our users and access control they've been granted. I can make changes. There's editing options from here. My next step is to go back down to users and groups and double check my configuration. And I can see that I have a pseudo user group with the same tag as my registered host. So I should be able to access this host now. Since I'm on Windows, I use Scoop to install the step CLI to my PC. So now if I type step, the CLI returns a list of all the commands available to me. The one we're most interested in is SSH. So I'm gonna run step SSH and I get additional commands that I can choose. This is the first time I've used this machine. So I'm gonna run step SSH config and provide my team name. And this is gonna kickstart not only my authentication to Okta, but there's a series of things that happen that automate this process. Now this config process submits a public key to your small step certificate authority. A certificate is returned and now the key and cert are put into the SSH agent from there. So these are ephemeral keys, they're held in memory and never touch disk. So now that I've authenticated, I can run step SSH host, which is a command that will display all the hosts I have access to. And you can see the host we registered today. Now it's just business as usual. The certificate's valid for one day. So each day I would type step SSH login, authenticate myself like we did earlier. And from there, I don't have to authenticate myself for another day. So that's it. We registered our first host. You saw how we assign user groups to specific hosts. And we also looked at installing and accessing hosts as an end user. So if you have any questions, hit us up at support at smallstep.com. There's some links in the description for useful assets like our quick start guide. And start now. Go to smallstep.com, click on the sign up link, and we look forward to seeing you. If you plan to hook up with your identity provider, you're going to need to select the Teams plan, which has a free 30 day trial to prove that it'll work for you. Thanks for your time. Let's do SSH right and we'll catch you on the flip side.